All right, so first of all, you got to introduce yourself, your name, what you do, and where you do it. Yeah, so I'm Will Allred. I'm one of the co-founders at a company called Lavender. Our product is used by over 20,000 sellers. We see, geez, we've seen over 100 million emails at this point, and so we help sellers write better emails. We help them do it faster. Wow, helping sellers write better emails. Love that. You, you weren't always a COO or a co-founder. Like, how did you get your start? Yeah, it's funny. I had my start in sales. And one of the things that I did in my career that actually changed the trajectory is I sent a cold email to the CEO of a consulting firm. And I just basically called out like, hey, I talked to so and so. They mentioned your firm would be a great place for me to learn and grow. Would love to just have a conversation to see where I can fit into the organization and be a helping hand. Wow, that, that worked? It did. He got a response. It doesn't necessarily mean it did all the work. So I had seen that the guy had written a book. Mm. And so I read the entirety of the book before I had that conversation with him, which was three days later. And so I came in with like highlighted chapters and I was like, here's where I think I can help. Here's what I'm really excited to learn. And I was like very upfront with, I was like, there's not much more that I can bring to the table other than like a really strong work ethic. And I was like, if you want me here before sunrise and you want me here after sunset, I will be here and I'll be doing the work. And I happened to just show up at the right time and the right moment. So there's a bit of luck at play. But I think part of that was I showed up very well prepared for that conversation. Man. And so now as you reflect back on that story, that's an awesome story, by the way, man. Like a COO, you, you hire people all the time. If somebody like that wanted to get this start, did that to you of like, get a book. No. Not yet, not, uh, not yet. Yeah. But, like, but you I know. post enough content online, right? right? That the context is there, and like even if the the person that you're reaching out to doesn't post a bunch online, they don't have like some digital personality. Taking the time to like research the company, research the market that they're in, understand like what they're probably facing in that space. Like if it's a publicly traded company, there's so much information available about what they're seeing, what they're dealing with, what their priorities are, and you can start to align that back to where you see yourself and the next one to five years and you can start to backtrack into okay this is the type of role i want to go into here's where i can like break in and start to have a good conversation around that awesome awesome so if you had to get three pieces of advice somebody's looking to get a job as a bdr sdr what's the three pieces of advice you would give them yeah so first piece of advice would be understand what you want so there's so many folks out there that are like yeah i want to break into tech what does that mean? <laughs> because I think so many people don't recognize that SaaS or tech, it means a ton of different things to a ton of different industries. And so understanding that like software as a service isn't the like amazing place that it's all made out to be. It's just a way to like deliver software and it's like a billing structure. So I think understanding truly what skills you have and what skills you want to develop and where you want to grow is really important where you see yourself like long term. That's number one. Number two is doing the research before you go and you do the like showing up. So there's like some self-reflection, then there's like some reflection on like the companies, those like places that you're trying to talk to so that you're like really refined and like where you're trying to have that conversation so that when you do go reach out and you do like the third piece you do more than just drop your resume my third piece of advice would be don't just drop a resume and pray right no spraying and praying <laughs> yeah don't spray and pray I, I can tell you that's not going to get you anywhere it's the extra layer of work that you can put in send the ceo a cold email send the people on that team messages, ask them questions, get curious about the jobs that they're doing, the priorities that they have. Don't just be like, hey, I want a job here. Actually like show up with a intent of trying to understand what they're trying to accomplish so that you can figure out where you can play a role and where you can be helpful. Because at the end of the day, nobody wants to babysit somebody. That's why when I was talking about my like story of breaking into consulting, I got really, really lucky because I think if I showed up to nine other CEOs with that request, they probably would have just ignored it yeah. because at the end of the day, nobody wants more work on their plate. And so it's a matter of like, where can you take that work off of their plate? Where can you be a valuable asset? Love that, love that, love that. So now, meanwhile, I was looking down at his responses. Chesh, I got this mess swag, man. I got to put, you got to the swag on, man. Look, and this is how COOs show up in the tech industry, right? There's no way. Suit from the thrift store. We got to just make sure, I'm uh, appreciate you. Me and Will going to be working on 
one of the lavender two. So he, he said like, man, he sees millions of emails on a daily basis. We're going to be working to help SDRs and BDRs, those that want to get into tech sales on how to craft those emails using lavender. So appreciate you, man. Yeah.